swing doors are often exposed to wind loads, which may have a negative effect on the driving behavior of electro-hydraulic swing door operators. In the worst case, the operator can even no longer open and close the door reliably. Dormer recognized this problem and therefore equipped their electromechanical swing door operators ED100 and ED250 with the Dormer wind load control. This feature is activated via the full energy upgrade card. In automatic mode, the system recognizes and compensates wind loads with an admissible force of up to 150 Newton, while the motor supports the spring during closing cycles. One of Germany's biggest wind tunnels is located in the Stuttgart-based Institute of Aerodynamics and Gas Dynamics and may generate a wind speed of around 60 km per hour. The ED100 has been tested in order to demonstrate the function of the wind load control. During several test runs, the operator had to open and close the door reliably despite the frontal wind load. Here we are in Stuttgart. Behind me you see one of Germany's biggest wind tunnels, where wind speeds of up to around 60 km an hour may be generated. With its diameter of 6.5 meters, this wind tunnel is really an impressive machine. We have especially chosen this system to test our operators under realistic conditions. This construction is designed to simulate the standard facade of a building. The door is mounted at a height of 1 meter so that it is located in the center of the generated wind flow. The tests were performed at a door of 2,250 by 990 millimeters, with respective sensors to measure the air pressure. On the basis of this data, a computer calculated the respective wind speed and documented the results. During the first test, the Dorma ED100 was mounted as a push version with standard arm. In the course of the test, the wind speed was continuously increased so that the ED100 had to show what it was made of. Now I'm in the center of the wind flow. We measure a wind speed of 10 meters per second. And as you can see, the door still opens and closes reliably. ED100 worked reliably despite a flow speed of 15 meters per second, which corresponds to a wind speed of around 54 kilometers per hour. And then the clue. Would the ED100 be able to cope with the wind tunnel's maximum wind speed? The door system had to handle a flow speed of 17.36 meters per second, which corresponds to a wind speed of around 63 kilometers per hour. Meteorologists refer to wind forces of or beyond this speed as stormy winds. Now we've reached 17 meters per second, and I can hardly remain on my feet. But as you can see, the door still operates properly. As the Dorma ED100 may be installed as both push and pull versions, we quickly converted the system into a pull version with slide channel and repeated the tests. Also as pull version, the ED100 managed all tested wind speeds without difficulty. Even at the maximum speed of 17.46 meters per second, the operator smoothly opened and closed the test door. test passed successfully. Despite its compact design, the Dorma ED100 has proven to be powerful. While adjusted to automatic mode, the operator may generate a force of up to 150 Newton in opening and closing direction. This is especially useful to reduce the effect of wind loads on exterior doors.
Dormer ED100. Strong against wind.